Welcome back, guys. Uh, so, in the last one, we built Moon Rescuer 1, which is going to go rescue uh, Wilnand Herman from orbit of the moon. But, a couple of things that I forgot to put on it. Uh, first of all, a battery. Uh, and second of all, uh, some way to generate power. So, <laughs> let's do that, because that's kind of important. And, uh, let's see, electrical, we'll put in, so this one is too big, yeah. We'll put in the C200, but not, 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 not there, not, not there, not there, there. Okay. And I want to try something because thank you Boris for commenting on the batteries because I think I want to try and put one of these reserve batteries on just to test it uh, because as Boris mentioned this is from a uh, why why can't I hello there uh, this is from a mod, these reserve battery packs. They are from a mod uh, called Amp Gear. And there is a thing down here where you can control it somewhere. This is this one, Amp Gear, yeah. Amp Gear Manager. So, we have a reserve capacity of 260. But how we do this how how this actually works i i'm i'm not sure but we'll we'll uh, we'll put that on there and then we want some solar panels and i think i'll make them retractable uh, no because they are not coming back with us so We'll put the solar panels down here. Like that, and we'll do four of them. Alright. So, let's save that. Our crew is still just Bill. We have the antenna, we have power, we have solar panels. Uh, I want to put... Uh, Let's put solar panels on the key. No, let's put solar panels on the brakes. Uh, so uh, extend solar panel. There, because we don't need the brakes. And that's it. That's it. We don't need a pilot. We have the probe. So, yeah. Let's save and launch. Oh, okay. So we are a little bit too heavy, but that's fine. We have money. And we can upgrade the lump pad. So there, unlimited. Back into vehicle assembly. And launch. And hopefully we just have Bill in here now. Or what? I'm guessing we don't. We have probably have two guys. No, we just have Bill. Good. So let's actually just time warp a bit until daytime. There we go, because that's much more fun to launch during the day. Let's turn... SAS on. Uh, throttle up. We don't need to be full throttle. Something like two thirds is probably fine. Yeah, this is perfect. We're off. We are off. I like these plumes. Nice. All right. Let's start tilting over a bit. We don't have any fins on here, which is potentially 
a problem. You'll see. Let's tilt some more. And we are pulsing over nicely. Our boosters are gonna set in a second. Well, a, a bit more than a second. But they are gonna set relatively soon. Alright, took more. Separation. Okay. Let's come over to here. Okay. This is good. Let's uh, increase our engine power. Alright, Apoapsis is at 50 kilometers, about a minute out, which is perfect. And let's just go sideways. This is wonderful. Okay. We have plenty of Delta V to get us up here and circularize, I think. So that's all good. Time to apoapsis is climbing. We want to get up to around 80, 80 kilometers. So we're at 70 now. 72, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 80. All right. Cool, cool, cool. And take a look. We're looking great. We are looking great. Okay. I don't have any RCS on this, which might have been nice. No, oh, it's fine. Once we get rid of uh, this big stage, it'll be okay. Let's just get into space. There we go. And we can do the magnetometer boom. Uh, let's keep the experiment and let's make sure that we get a nice circularization uh, something like there 80 80 perfect all right node in one minute And this uh, track boom. Let's get our solar panels out. And we are almost ready to burn. I wonder if we need a scientist to remove that data and get it ready again. If so, we'll transmit it. So, let's see. Almost time. And go for burn. Okay. We will detach. We will complete the circularization with this stage because I want the other one to burn up. So there, that's fine. 82, 78. We're in space. All is good. 
Let's have Bill EVA. Uh, I hope Bill has a... Yeah, he does have a, a jetpack. We didn't bring one for the other guy, which might have been a mistake. But the last two I did, they did have... Um, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh. Right. They did have a... What's it called? Uh, jet packs. EVA packs. I wish this would... Adjust... The camera so that it was behind him. But we can just do like that, I guess. And uh, download data. Okay. So it's fine. And let's get back on board. Okay. All right. So we don't need this anymore. And we need to go to the moon. Where's the moon? There's the moon. So we will create a maneuver node around here. And there we have an encounter. Uh, let's actually set you as target. And let's just see over here. He is going that way around he, in not really a great orbit, but it is what it is. Uh, let's see. Let's try and get a little closer. Something like that is probably fine. Maybe a little closer. Something like that is definitely fine. Yeah. All right, 848 meters a second. That is A-OK. -okay. We will turn around to face our maneuver node. Quick save and go to the node. It's a one minute burn, so we need to burn at around 30 seconds. Which is fine. Okay. And go for burn. Alrighty. Bill, you are going to the moon. Now, once we're on our way to the moon, I'll check out this Ampere thing. Maybe. If I can figure it out. I probably can't. <laughs> but Boris was kind enough to put a link to a video. So... I will maybe take a look at that and see how that works. If I can't figure it out myself. Getting there. Let's slow down a little bit on the burn. And let's just see. There we go. Perfect. All right. So, and here. Power, 99. Reserve, reserve power, 100%. Extra, reserve to main, transfer, main to reserve. Okay. 
Okay. So we can have reserve power that we can transfer to the main power. And if we have used some of the reserve power, we can transfer power from the main power to the reserve tower to fill that up again. That is interesting. I like it. And subsystem, what's that? SAS, uh, show crew, emergency, SP, auto active. Okay. All right. Well, I I get the gist of it. I get the gist of it. It's good. All right. We are heading to the moon. So let's uh, warp here. Hmm. And we can do the magnetometer boom again. So let's do that. Nice. Uh, keep that. Uh, retract the boom. Bill EVA. Let go, turn on RCS, and let's get up there and grab that data. Oh, rip the solar panels off, please spill. We didn't give you a repair kit, which is a little stupid. Should have given you a repair kit. Okay, download data. And let's down, go forward, and get back in. And grab forward, and we have some more science, which is great. Okay. Uh, let's just do a little quick save and we'll warp to the sphere of influence change which we have right there we can do the magnetometer boom again there we go keep that science uh, bring the boom in and EBA So, all good. Uh, oh. Oh. Okay. Let's go forward. Not so much up. All right. Uh, download the data. And get back in. Good job, Bill. Oh, dang. Mm. All right. Come on, Bill. Grab. Board. Beautiful. More science. I love it. All right. Let's circularize our orbit here. And we'll bring it into something like that. And we will set you as our target. All right, quick save, warp. And turn around to our node and it's a 13 second burn so we will burn around now okay and there we go that'll be fine 
Okay. So we actually have the descending node right here. Which is right behind us. Which is a little annoying. Well, we'll use the ascending node. And we will adjust our orbit. So that... Okay. I want it. All right, we can just lock that. And we will adjust our orbit so that we are more in line with Wilnan's orbit. All right, that was a bit too much. 0 0.1 is fine for now, at least. Uh, I think we will do that and that actually puts us at 0, 0.0 which is perfect all right quick save warp over here so basically what we're doing is we're burning uh, anti-normal so that uh, we adjust our inclination uh, in accordance to, to Will Nens. So we're basically burning down. It's a three, six, six second burned, and it is burning now. And there we go. 0 0.3 degrees. I'll take it. Alright, if we put a maneuver here at the periapsis and burn what's our closest approach 182 kilometers what if we move it around a bit so something like there 0 0.6 kilometers a little fast but we can slow that down So that is kind of perfect. Four second burn. Will Land, you are going to be very happy to see us, I think. You are going to give Bill a big sloppy kiss, which I am sure he will appreciate. Alrighty, it's only a four second burn. Get this encounter, which is beautiful. Alright, so we'll burn when there's two seconds left until we're at the node. And that is now. We will chase it a little bit. All right, so we are at 0 0.5 kilometer separation. Good. So, hmm. Do we want to maybe make a little adjustment over here or something? 0 0.9 kilometer. 0 0.5. Oh, that was not right. 0 0.3. 0 0.2. 0 0.3. 0 0.2 kilometers. I think that's as good as it gets. And that is a minuscule burn. Quick save means 0 0.1 second burn, 0 0.8 meters a second, and it adjusts us 300 meters closer to Wilnand. So that is pretty significant. I think we'll just burn it here. 0 0.1 kilometers separation. All right. Uh, you know what? 
Let's uh, turn on our lights at least. Didn't put any f lights on here, which is a little annoying. But we will uh, warp over here. Okay. And we will slow our speed towards the target. Basically. So let's just get it down to around there. 4.8 meters a second. And where is Willand? He is down there, 1.3 kilometers away. 1.2. So what we'll do is just pull this up here a bit and pull it over here a little bit. And now we're approaching with 10 meters a second, which is a little hot, but we can easily slow it down. There will be a little bit of drift, of course, but getting to around like a hundred meters or something would be kind of nice. It would have also have been nice if we had been on the light side of the moon. Let's slow down a little bit. And you know what, I'll uh, reduce our thrust a bit. Hey, we're getting there. 450 meters away. I think we got, yeah, contract parameter complete for... Uh, Uh, rendezvousing, rendezvousing two vessels, which is great. Okay. Oh, we can do the magnetometer boom as well. And keep that science. And retract the boom so that Wilnan doesn't fly into it when he comes over. We need to slow our approach here. So we'll do that. Zero point two meters a second approach is fine. Zero point one is fine too. All right, let's do a quick save, and we will. Switch over. I don't think. Oh, yeah, you can't be a good. Uh, so, we'll land. Whoa, whoa, whoa. I really hope you had a. Uh, yeah, you did. Good. And there is our rescue ship. Now, which side is. Entry on. Uh, it's on this side, but land you are way too fast. Right, so let's have Willand um, come up a bit, and he'll grab. This stuff. What is Willand? He's she. Sorry, sorry, Willand. She is an engineer as well. So they will have a lot to talk about. All those exciting engineering things. 
and download data. All right, then you need to come around to the other side. And get a grip. Oh, yeah, there. And board. All right. We have, we land on board. And now all we need to do is fly home. So where is Kerbin? Kerbin is there. Uh, we can see if we maneuver around here and speed up. Uh, we'll be there, I think. Seems good. Seems perfect. All right. So, uh, maybe it would be an idea to unlimit our engine again. Because else it's a really long burn. It was like a 1 minute 30 burn. Now it's a 10 second burn. So, I think that's uh, to be preferred. All right. And we have a lot of crap flying around there. Mm. Doesn't have to be that precise, we can just burn. Burn, baby, burn. Alright. There. That's probably fine. Then let's quick save again. And we'll just uh, warp here. And let's change the sphere of influence. There we go. We'll add a maneuver here and bring our periapsis down to where we want it, which is just around there. Let's see. That's fine. Doesn't have to be precise. 191 meters a second burn. It's absolutely fine. We have more than enough Delta V. Sometimes the, the rendezvous can be a bit tricky, and that's why I wanted to have the extra Delta V, uh, or so much extra Delta V, I should say, because sometimes you spend a lot just messing around trying to get in close. Alright, again, it doesn't need to be that precise, so we'll just burn. And there. Thereabouts. Yeah, that's perfect. 33 kilometer. Periapsis. Let's warp here. Actually, well, we are warping now. Fine. Okay, warp complete. And we want just stability assist. And we want I think it's the other one. The radial out. And let's see, yeah, that looks right. 
Let's burn off all the fuel that we have. While keeping our apoapsis around where we want it. This will make our re-entry a lot more smooth for Bill and Wilnand. Let's take it half. that this is fine. We still have more than a thousand meters of Delta B left. Uh, I don't want to... I want to focus my view over here. Right, let's warp here. And what's our altitude? Let's warp here, get a little bit closer, and we can maybe burn off a bit more of our Delta V. So, something like this. And we'll just sit here and burn for a few seconds. Perfect. Uh, let's just say that this is fine. We will decouple this as soon as we hit the atmosphere, basically, I think. We can turn the lights off. Oh, I can't because I was warping, of course. All right, let's not be pointed that way, let's be pointed something like that. And then we just want to be pointed retrograde. And we can time warp. And we'll get home. And it's all wonderful. Will Nand is safely back on Curran. Fantastic. We are getting some now how much did we have left plenty plenty look at all that food oops okay let's work a bit hopefully nothing burns off probably something will We are coming down nice and safe, slowing down at a good pace. It's wonderful. We are not coming back out of the atmosphere. So we are in for a splashdown, it looks like. Awesome. Why are these on the same stage? I want you first. Just get down to around five kilometers, then we'll punch out the drogue chute. Get down to one kilometer or so, one and a half maybe. Something like there. Get out our regular chute. And we are coming down. Beautiful. I love it. At a relatively fast speed. I think this heat shield might... No, the heat shield is fine. Okay. 
We could actually do a surface sample here, but never mind. Bill and Wilnand are safely home. Wilnand is part of our space program now. And we actually got 340.2 science. So that is awesome. That gives us the ability to get two more uh, 160 nodes done. That's nice. Let's see. Did we... I wonder if we can recover the, those other bits and pieces. I want to go check that. They are now level 1. Well done, guys. And they got themselves some... Some ribbons. Moon Orbital, EVA ribbon... Research 5, Splashdown, Landing on Kerbin, Mark 3, Kerbin Orbit, Moon EVA, Moon Orbital EVA. Nice. Dangerous EVA. Alright, cool. And contract parameters are done, so explore the moon. Yes, we have rendezvous. Uh, yeah. Uh, yeah, rendezvous. I rescued Wilnand. And everything is good. We have money in the bank. We have a little bit of science. It's fantastic. I just quickly, before we end the episode, want to go see the tracking station. And I just, can I, is there, is there a way to remove everything? So what I really want, just want to see is debris. So I just want to see our debris. We have all of this de debris flying around. Is any of it landed? Doesn't seem like it, does it? So if we take you... I can't do anything with you. You, I can terminate or fly. So let's... Killing all crew? Hopefully there's no crew in the debris. No. It's a bit of our... <laughs> our lander. It, it certainly has a landing leg. So, okay. I don't know why, but it's out there, because it should really have been terminated by now. So, let's terminate you. Terminate you. Why is there so much Moonlander stuff here. I'm just going to terminate it all. Terminate. 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 Oh, that was the, uh... <laughs> the, um... Not Aries Heat. I want Purple Rescue on one debris. Terminate. We do have all these hulks and stuff, but I'll keep those because we can get missions to bring them down. Alright. So. That's fine. Uh, let's go to research and development. 
because I want these command modules, that's for sure. So research that. Then we can either get one more 160 or a 320. Nuclear propulsion. Experimental propulsion. Large volume containment. Biogenics tanks. Couplers. Okay. Advanced metalworks. Inflatable airlock. Radial mount. Interesting. Composites. Okay, corridors and stuff. Interesting. This is for either for bases or for uh, space station. Advanced orbit and surface structures. So I guess they can be used for both. This is very interesting. I'm looking forward to, to trying making bases. That seems like a fun thing. Field silence. That's our surface bay. I might get advanced landing to get the LT2 landing strut. High power electronics. Rectilinear rover adapter. Battery container. Okay. There are a lot of things. Scanning tech. Surface water scanning module. Sentinel infrared telescope. Surface scanning module. Survey scanner. Atmospheric fluid spectrometer. Barometer. Oh yeah. This is what we're getting. Bingo. A lot of science. Definitely. So... Oh, new surface outpost on Minmus. Explore the moon again. So now we have to dock, yeah. Uh, right, we have tourism. They want to land on Minmus. Okay. Do they pay well? Yeah, they kind of do. That's quite a lot of money. So we could do something like that. Build a new orbital station around EVE. Oh, that is interesting. That is very, very interesting. Expires in five days. I'm taking it. Uh... Finish construction of a rover on the surface of the moon. Jesus. So, what active contracts do we have? We have a new surface outpost on the moon. We have two satellites going to EVE. Deadline is 29 years, 24 years, 24 years. Okay, so we have some time. I think the surface outpost on the moon would be interesting. I think that could be interesting. And what we could do potentially maybe is rescue Danford as well in the same mission uh, better to rescue Danford on a minimus mission I guess yeah Or just rescue him on his own mission. Or her. Don't know. 
Don't know. All right. We'll figure all that out in the next one. So uh, thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.